Hi, my name is Mike Rose. I'm a final year robotics student. I run a startup called Rose Industries. I actually have two branches now, which is kind of amazing. So we've got the 3D printing service, more householdy type items. So we've done a lot of plant pots and desk organizers. We also run RA MedTech, uh, which is more focused on the research side of things. So developing the prosthetics is our long-term goal, but we're also developing smaller projects such as a uh, gyroscopic cup holder for wheelchairs. And also more recently, we actually designed a reusable ice cream cone. The earliest research projects that I got involved with were actually at the end of my first year. I started with Dr. Paul Naratundi uh, in the BRL. Uh, I was invited to assist with a prosthetics project where we were looking at the discomfort caused by standard NHS prosthetic sockets. Uh, which I got to meet the lovely Tanya Goddard. Yeah, well, what I'm thinking is hopefully this will fit around the chair and then we can try and fit it. My name's Tanya Goddard and I became working with the robotics lab. I struggled with sockets fitting my leg. They agreed to help me out with a new socket. I lost my leg in 2012 and then eight months later the socket stopped working, they stopped fitting um, due to a condition I was born with. So Mike and the team, um, I gave them a really good challenge that if somebody has swelling within their socket it means they cannot wear that socket. So my challenge to them is make a socket that will actually accommodate different levels of swelling. Boy, what a challenge I set them. <laughs> I gave up for a little while on a prosthetic leg until I met Mike and the team. And all I want to do is get back on two feet again. Doing a research project that I was doing with Tanya Goddard brought up an issue she was having with carrying hot drinks, which led to the development of the gyroscopic cup holder. Obviously, when you're in a wheelchair, you need your arms to push. So carrying anything is practically impossible. It's place a coffee cup in between my legs and tried to move and got scolded. Spent a couple of hundred pound in total on different types of cup holders. I've ended up smashing them off when I put the wheelchair in the car or door frame. So when I was working with Mike and the team on the socket, I was sort of like, okay, let's see what we can do here. So I set them yet another challenge and it was in fact to come up with a cup holder. The aim is to be a quality of life improvement for uh, wheelchair users where they'll be able to move around with the coffee, current devices that are available, the, the cost is astronomical. Um, so the whole purpose of what we're doing is trying to, to tackle what's known as the disability tax uh, and produce usable hardwareing products at an affordable price that we can then open source and be allowed to be 3D printed anywhere in the world. I think Mike's great. Um, I've really enjoyed working with him these past few years. Uh, so what's up next for me is I'm going to be working as a research associate for a little while for the university uh, and then I'll be moving on to a PhD overseas which I'm really excited for. Um, I just can't wait to see what happens next.